tonight, this is what parts of South Florida look like. Heavy rain, flash flooding hits part of the state. You can see what it looks like. Ugh, people are dealing with several feet of water there. But it's not just impacting the roads. It's also impacting the skies, leaving a lot of travelers stranded. WRL's Carly Haynes is live at RDU, where travelers here at home are feeling the effects, Carly. But there are still some lingering delays that you can see on this board from that severe weather in parts of South Florida. And this isn't just Florida airports that we're talking about. This is impacting flights all over the United States. The relief to finally arrive after a long travel day. Amani Armstrong and Kyle Daquana just flew in from Tampa. Their flight delayed by hours. Because it's like one after the other after the other. You know, the one before us was late. We got on our plane 45 minutes late and then it's lightning and then another one. Flash flooding and rounds of rain in South Florida since Wednesday caused a ripple effect, pushing back flights at airports all over the country. Stephanie Bryant is still hoping to make it to Detroit tonight. We can get there maybe 1130, but that's the, the third delay, so we'll see. <laughs> Meanwhile, St. Augustine student Tilshawn Leary is still stuck in Miami. Her flight to RDU was canceled Wednesday. I tried to find different hotels closer to the airport, couldn't find anything. Then faced with another canceled flight this morning, part of the more than 100 others like it at the Miami airport today. And I had to pay over, I think it was $400 for food, hotel, find a ride because they have no shuttles for the airport. For those on the other side of the flight chaos, Eden Bormis sums up the feeling best. Kind of tired, happy to be home. And travelers are really hoping to get out sooner rather than later as more rain is expected for that area over the next few days. Carly Haynes, WRL News, live at RDU.